Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz, uh, awesome fight. You know, went two rounds, and then Conor, you know, he, on the ground. He's just not as strong as other fighters on the feet. He packs a punch. He's a stud, but, you know, talk about that fight first. Yeah, you know, uh, it was an exciting fight. Um, kind of what we expected, I think. Uh, maybe not the outcome. I mean, I, I did pick Nate to win. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure how he was going to be able to handle coming in on 10 days' notice, but typical Nate Diaz fashion, went in there and uh, started taunting him, started getting in his head. I think he got in Connor's head, and Connor's not used to that. Connor's used to going in there and hurting people with punches and didn't, didn't hurt Nate, you know. I know they're saying the whole size thing, but uh, essentially they were the same size. He's not a bigger guy. He's a 55-pounder, not, right. not a 70-pounder. Right, was a 45-er paint, uh, fighting a 55-er, and Connor leading up to that said, I'm a very big featherweight, and he kind of matched up his dimensions versus – Nate Diaz, so he was promoting that it really wasn't that much of a difference. Right, and, and I don't think it was. You know, Nate's a, a perennial 55-pounder, and uh, that's what happens. You know, you go up and wait, and you're not the big guy no more. So pointing down to 45, we already have Jose Aldo sending out tweets. State your case right now why it should be you and not Jose Aldo. Come on, we, we've seen the, the Aldo show already. We've seen what happened, you know. If, if people watch fights because they're interested to see who could win, and they don't, they don't know the outcome. They've seen that outcome already. I definitely pose a big threat for him. I think for, for Connor to show his worth, not his worth, I mean, obviously, he brings in the numbers. He's always going to, no matter what. But to show his, his worth as a fighter and, and to see if he's willing to step up to a challenge, I pose the biggest threat for him. I think everybody knows that. I think he knows that. For him to come in and, and, and accept a fight with me, that, w that would give him some, some credibility, I think. It would show him, to show him that he's got some nuts. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular place you would like this to happen? I would if the garden got done, that'd be uh, phenomenal. But UFC 200, let's do it. You know, I mean, I know he wants to. He wants the biggest fights. That's going to be the biggest weekend, one of the biggest weekends, whether he's there or not. You add him, it's going to even be bigger. Mm -hmm. And you add him versus you, it's going to be pretty it's big. It's going to be the biggest. <laughs> All right. Um, he at the press conference is leaning towards Aldo. How do you react to that? Uh, why is he? I mean, he has stated in the past he thought you deserved it. He had, of all the fighters out there, he seemed to pay you the most respect. But at the press conference, he started leaning towards Aldo. Do you read into that at all in any way? I don't know if it's a cop-out or what. You know, I don't know if he feels more comfortable because he knows he just beat him the way he did. Um, you know, I, is, I don't, you know, I, I don't want to say scared or coward or whatever, but uh, I just think, you know, I'm, I'm the fight that, that would prove the doubters wrong. Now he's got doubters. You know, he always had that. You know, he talks as much as you do, he's going to have haters. Now after a performance like that, he's going to have even more haters. You want to prove those people wrong? Come in there and beat me. He does that. He's going to silence these doubters. He goes and beats Aldo again. He just did already. He's not going to silence anybody.